Good King Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. I haven't seen about? one of these well, since. It's about a king that brings food to a poor man. The king and his servant march all night through a cold winter storm to reach the man. The storm is very strong. After a long time, it gets so cold that the servant can't go on. But the king tells the servant to just step in his tracks. Mark my footsteps, scoot my page, tread thou in them boldly. Thou shalt find the winter's rage. Freeze thy blood less coldly. I don't get it. <laughs> it means that doing good things for people can be good for you too. But the servant wouldn't have been out there in the... Clem, we could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. What a funny little guy. Crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Yeah, that's him. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? It's not gonna be easy. 
I know it's going to be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Want to listen? That food smells good, huh? Can I? She's going to be a runner. It's not his. Why are you telling me this? I trust you. For some reason. And I can tell you've kept a few secrets. If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. I... I wouldn't say anything. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're going to eat? I love you, silly bear. I hate it when you call me that. I know, but I mean it. I love you too. You get some rest now. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He does seem different than I remember. In what way? I'm not sure. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem! Here you go, Clem. So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? What's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. If that's what she wants. Of course she does. Right, Clem? Thank you. Of course. This is like a dream. Damn it, I am so happy right now. I, I can't even tell you.
Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell ya. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice. I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying? What? Excuse me? Kenny, stop. But- Luke is my friend. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck? Who's duck? Leave him alone, Luke. Hey, Clementine, would you, uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? I want to stay with you and Kenny. Then stay you shall. I know that'll please Kenny. I missed him. And he missed you, I can assure you. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? It's never that easy. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You're just gonna let her in like that? It's fine.